as we mentioned in the cold video, uh, this is the tonic that I take when I need to super alkalize my body. So anytime I'm feeling low immune, you know, function, the first sign of a cold, or just as a preventative, you know, through stressful times, this is a great tonic to have. So what I need is a, all of this is organic. So just so you know, I have got organic lemon. I've got organic, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. And this is where I'm a big fan of getting the smaller brands because smaller batches tend to increase the quality of a really good apple cider vinegar. So the more natural, the better. And I've also got some fresh ginger. Now I have got some organic ginger and I've got some non-organic ginger. And I just kind of wanted to show you <laughs> the difference sometimes as to guess which one is organic. <laughs> guess which one's on steroids, okay? Now I just want to reiterate that organic is always better because it's the absence of chemicals. Better for the environment, better for your body. But in the absence of organic, it's much better to actually have the whole food than to not have it. So if the only thing I can get is conventional um, anything, I will take that whole food over an organic processed version of it. So those pastes that you get of ginger and garlic that are in the can, there's a preservative that's in it. So it might be organic, but I would actually take the conventional um, whole fresh version over something like that. And it's really not that hard to, um, to get into your system and, and to chop up or grate. Uh, one of the things that is fabulous for it is a microplane grater. Love them. Uh, don't know what we did without the microplane before <laughs> came into existence, but it certainly made our life a lot easier and enjoyable in the kitchen as far as the end result. So to make this tonic, what I'm going to do, and you can kind of squish your lemon, you really only need half a lemon per person, right? Um, and then I forgot my juicer. <laughs> Um, to bring it along to the studio. So we have got just a fork that will help get all that beautiful lemon juice out. So in the absence of a juicer, a fork and some elbow grease will do it for you. Okay, so just get lots of that lemon juice out of there. Twist your fork in there and get it all broken up and you'll get a lot of juice from it. Okay, there we go. So that then I'm going to I like to do just a little bit more lemon juice than apple cider vinegar so usually about three teaspoons to half a lemon and then I just take my ginger and I take off the knobbly bits and I don't peel it too much because I just take I don't want the really fibrous stuff and I start to use the microplane now that here's a little tip with the microplane I just want to create a little space here so you can see what I'm doing is I just start to grate it, and you can juice this if you want. If you have a juicer, go for it, okay? Um, but what I do is I just kind of a really good go at it. Don't peel it. Just take those really big fibrous bits out. Nice grating of it. And I love this microplane grater um, that I just got at a chef supply story. Okay, so it's already starting to juice on me, right? And what I do is I take this off, And I use this as a strainer, and I just squeeze the juice. And you can, if you're, you know, not adverse to it, the fiber of that ginger is not going to be a problem. So, um, to break down in your body. But I just like to use that as a little strainer. You get a nice whack of juice. Now, some people like to put a pinch of cayenne pepper in there, but essentially all these elements will be doing wonderful things for your body to alkalize it, to help return your stomach, you know, the acids within your stomach to get them so they're in a good place for really, you know, getting your immune system working optimally. It's got a little bit of juice on the board. Waste not, want not. Okay. And that little tonic is incredibly powerful. So the ginger will help start breaking the mucus down. The apple cider vinegar with the fermentation is going to help with the probiotic in your gut and the ginger will really help break the mucus down. So it's literally just this little shot. Sometimes this can be overwhelming. There's a lot of super, super strong flavors. Both the lemon, apple cider vinegar and the ginger are all really, really strong. Some people might want to dilute it. When I first started having this tonic, I would squeeze grapefruit juice 
and have it as a tracer. Now what I'll do sometimes if I'm just feeling a little bit sensitive, I'll actually fill it up with water and then drink it all down. And even then you're going to find it's like a really, you know, sh a shot of whiskey. It's full on. Um, and then I'll chase it down with some more water. But I promise you that if you're feeling the first signs of a cold coming on, your immune system's just a little bit low, this is a really smart thing to do. Thank you.